What's going on YouTube? Welcome back for another mobile ride along with your man Uncommon Sense. I've been away handling family business, taking care of my mom and whatnot. She lives in another state and I've not been home. So we haven't been able to do these. Today's mobile ride along is going to center around one of my favorite niche houses and that is the house of Aunt Sarah. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. Sarah has quickly become one of my favorite niche houses for the simple fact they offer some amazing quality that I can find the most accessible and the most applicable to my needs and my desires and likes as well as being able to find them at a good price range for the amount of juice you most of the time get four ounces so that's always going to be one of my things. Do I get a good quality juice for the amount of money? And since that's a yes, I'm already on board. The fragrance we're talking about today is going to be Cedrequa. Cedrequa has been compared to Creed Adventist and all intents and purposes, yes, there are some similarities, but they are not the same. I enjoy this fragrance on its own volition, just like I can enjoy Creative Ventus on its own volition. I try not to spend a lot of time talking about Creative Ventus because there is a lot of hype and a lot of talk about Creative Ventus all on its own merit. Rightfully so, it is a nice fragrance. There are a lot of batch variations surrounding it, though, and I, in my opinion, believe it is extremely outside of my price range for the amount of variations that go along with that fragrance. Also, with the amount of love that it gets, it's no longer an uncommon scent. In the top, And in the base. So the rock bar comes off extremely citric and woody in my experience this is a fragrance that on my skin to me you can't overspray it's uncharacteristic to me with this fragrance for a mancera most manceras are extremely strong can't spray too much of them for this one on me on my skin i can spray about 10 to 15 sprays and be in the game no problem i can wear this one in the winter and this one may or less be a Swiss Army knife. So Drac Bob made my top 10 for niche spring list. And for all intents and purposes, it's a very versatile fragrance. It's a fragrance that can check many boxes. You won't get in here once man saying that you smell unappealing. And I usually don't wear my niche fragrances to work. But what I've started to do is spin the wheel. There is an app called Wheel of Names. I use that app to select my fragrances. Having a larger fragrance collection, it feels like, you know, why spend a lot of time and energy on 
figured out what fragrance I'm gonna wear. I get a general consensus of what fragrances that I've not worn in a while or that I'm feeling. Put them on the wheel, spin the wheel, let chance decide, right? Let the universe decide what moves I'm gonna make because I feel like when you let the universe decide and get on board with what the universe has for you, you're in lockstep. I like to be on the same frequency as the universe. So, you know how that works. With that being said, today's one of my first days back into the office. I usually don't wear niche fragrances to the office, but since we're on a hybrid model, it makes sense for me to give this a try. And then again, too, where would I be wearing these fragrances to? I've not really opened up to going out and exploring the world yet again. So, I would just be at home smelling great. So, I decided to give this a shot. To wear it out. I sprayed 10 sprays across the body, chest, neck, across the back of my shoulders, across my arms, hit of the elbow, and I do smell the fragrance. This may be one that I go agnostic to because I don't seem to smell it a whole lot. But I know that my partner's told me before that he can smell it in the other room. And then this fragrance smells really amazing. It it's exciting to me that I dealt with traffic in such a long time. I don't like this. I do not like this. I am not liking this. I'm not used to this. There's traffic. I am in traffic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is such an experience. Two hours later. I'm excited about this fragrance. It smells amazing on me. Makes me feel vibrant. Makes me feel sexy. It's a match for my personality. How I am. And one of the best things about this fragrance is that it was a gift. Even though I'm showing you a decant, I have a bottle because it was gifted to me by Secret Santa. I got this as a Christmas gift. So, in that pee, it's a 10 because I didn't pay for it. But the, for the price, the quality of the juice, I would rate it a solid 9 anyway. For Projection, I'm gonna rate it a seven. In my experience, it's not a major projector. For performance, it lasts a good part of the day. It lasts roughly about the eight hour mark I've experienced. Play, I've received multiple compliments on it. Yet and still, not exactly the, my reason for wearing I've still received bad amounts of play. Packaging, presentation, it's pretty standard. Tall cylindrical bottle, standard on that Sarah's with luxurious drawstring bag. Gonna rate it a seven and a half. Some of the Mancera bottles and bags are very nice. Some of them are very standard. Is it a copper drop? That's gonna all depend on where you are in your fragrance journey and what you're looking for. If you have a Ventus and you feel like that's the king, you don't need anything else, then probably this 
may not meet your needs. I feel like for me, of course, it's a cop because I really enjoy the house of Ben Sarah. And then two, I feel like the quality of juice that you get and the consistency from batch to batch is more in line with what I would expect. So for me it's a cop. That's gonna do it for this mobile review. I'm gonna get on up out of here. I'm on my I'm on my way into my first day back into the office in roughly a year. Well, that's not the truth. I've been flowing back and forth to the office even throughout the pandemic. So that's not a hundred percent the truth. But I'm on my way back into the office with other people. I've not done that in quite some time. So this is going to be an adjustment. I'm going to need y'all to be patient with me. I'm going to need to be patient with myself. Because I've not had to say it, share space with other individuals in quite some time. And I don't know how to process that. I still want to maintain my six feet. I'm still going to wear my mask. I'm still going to wash my hands. I'm still going to do my business. And we're going to maintain that because that's worked for us. It's been working for us. So, that's going to do it for this mobile ride along. And it's been your man, Uncommon Sense. I love you all from the bottom of my heart to the top of the side the bottom and all the way around and then we will lift it on up and love on you from the underneath and I will catch you on the flip side until then.